We will highlight key processes in managing the life cycle of an enterprise service. The demonstration shows a critical email exchange service and its interactions with self service, support and incident, collaboration, collaboration and change, software asset management, automation, project management, cloud deployment and governance, and employee engagement. Let's take a look at how software asset management can also play a role. Our change will produce a new certificate, but it looks like it requires us to provide an exchange license key. I'll navigate to my software asset management menu to find out the details that I'm looking for. I can see reports related to the current compliance that I have across my portfolio of software applications. In a further drill down, I can look at details and specific software titles. And in fact, I see that the Exchange server itself happens to be non-compliant right now in terms of its license consumption. Now, as we drill down into the details of my Exchange server software asset, you can also see the general compatibility matrix of various versions of this software. And this is all used for the discovery process to understand what licenses we have versus the actual consumption. I can, of course, look at the specific locations where these licenses are being installed and used. And most important for implementing our change, I need to find details about the licenses and obtain the key that I need. Now let's take a look at this license. I can look at how many rights I have purchased. And I could look at other details, such as the actual contract that was used to purchase these licenses. Here's a contract record, and also whether this is related to other contracts that I may have with the vendor. And now looking back at my license record, I can see that all the relevant license keys are stored here and are ready for me to use. 